Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. Please enjoy your next video. All right, hi, we're Jason and Heather Dean, and this is our 1935 Chevy pickup truck. Uh, kind of take a look around, show you some of the things we've done to it. You know what, before you open that up, let's take a look at, I mean, I love the-, the Do kind of a walk around right. and then, okay. I, I love this pressed uh, venting. Yes. And you know, smaller and bigger right there. Mm -hmm. And then, is that uh, original, that 35 yep. factory? Air yep, the, vent. the scoop was original, just to get some air in there. That is so nice. And then, I'm sorry, did you say the name, the year of the make and model? Yep. That is so nice. So 1935 Chevy truck. Uh, our grandpa actually bought this truck, restored in August of 2000. We purchased it March of 2021. Um, this is the uh, second show that we've actually ran the full hood um, normally it's just the half hood to show the engine uh, I put the full hood on just to kind of get a look at it we really liked it so we decided to go ahead and run it with the full hood and just open the hood for you know right, while we're at the show, the show. Right. Uh, we love the full hood um, it is sitting on a 1978 Mustang 2 front end, uh, original 35 chassis and body, uh, 78 Monte Carlo rear end. Yep, it's uh, 373 gearing on the rear end, uh, which Grandpa did because he drove it everywhere. He put over 30,000 miles on this truck. Uh, we do not trailer this truck, this truck drives everywhere. Um, this truck has been in magazines, it's been in, it's won over 100 trophies in its life. Um, it's actually in the Frog Follies magazine from uh, 2009. Uh, we do have a copy of it. Um, we did, uh, we did have to rebuild the engine this year, which was a bad thing because it kept us out of most of the show season but it was a good thing because we do have a very fresh 357 in it um everybody asks about the scratch like jason why is this scratch on here when we bought the truck we took the cover off and this scratch was on the fender and i asked grandma i said hey what's what's with this scratch on the fender and she looks at it and she says, your grandpa did that. And I said, well, tell me the story. She says, I don't know the story. If somebody else would have put that scratch on there, grandpa would have talked about it constantly. But he put that scratch on there and I never heard about it. So she doesn't even know anything about it. That is funny. Um, truck obviously has a car seat in it. We do have two little kids. Um, you locked it. <laughs> uh, we have kids, we have toys, we have diaper bags. Um, <laughs> look at that, look at How's the car to drive? Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's on rails on the corners. Um, it loves gas, it hates the brakes. Uh, it's just like me. Um, very fun to drive, very dialed in. Uh, we do have uh, air suspension in the rear. We can change that up and we do often depending on the road that we're on. Um, all right, so give you a look under the hood. All right, so like I said before, we did have to rebuild the engine this year. Um, we got it as a fairly mild built 357 with the original heads on it. Um, the block, the uh, heads were all painted red. We did not like that. Um, since we had to rebuild, we went ahead and put Vortec heads on it. Um, 
painted everything gold to kind of match the truck went with gold black and shiny just to Dad, limit the amount of covers not yet I want to leave. <laughs> just to limit the amount of colors that are in the engine um, we did end up putting uh, putting the vortex heads on it uh, new intake new Edelbrock performer intake um, new valve covers new headers uh, we have not put it on the dyno yet it'll be on the dyno august uh, 19th at star rock nationals what do you think it will do i i'm guessing around 375 at the wheels uh -huh. just your, just you guessing you let your better half drive it? she has not yet so when we got the truck i didn't have back brakes i was running solely on front brakes watch your kids um, due to the fact that it did not have back brakes, I did not, nobody else has driven my truck other than grandpa. Um, now that we have back brakes, she will be allowed to drive it. Um, I, I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid of her driving it with the power. Uh, it was, it was the lack of brakes that, that had me worried. Um, Put a pretty big crane cams uh, cam in it, uh, just because I like that heavy cam sound. Right, right. Uh, like I said, the new heads, everything, just it breathes so much better. It sounds so much better. Can I fire it up? Yeah, actually, I was just gonna. Ask you to do that. <laughs> fire it up. Stay back. Oh, do you want to take this to the back? Like he said, we will. rev it, rev it. Got it, got it, got it. Hold on one second. Look, 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 look. Student driver. Yes. So what kind of uh, exhaust do you have? Um. So it is straight piped. It does have turbo tubes on it. It's two inch stainless all the way back with turbo tubes. Ow. Um, basically straight pipe with a couple baffles, uh, hooker block hugger, hugger headers, um, which are the same headers that we bought with the truck. We just added, or sorry, went with 20 year newer hookers. Um, Nice, nice. Like I said, 78 Mustang 2 front end, 78 Monte Carlo rear end. Uh, you get this thing on a curvy road and it's on rails. Right, it, right. it is quick, it is low. It will not lose traction until you tell it to lose traction. husband and I's truck. It's a 35 Chevy, as you already know. And uh, the paint color is a custom made um, color and it's called California Gold. Um, we like to use this Jack's Wax um, to help polish it up and keep it clean. And uh, this Hawaiian shine smells amazing. Um, I was also told that you can use this on your shower doors so um, to keep the, the hard water spots off. So uh, it works great, looks great, and we love it. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you liked your truck. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below. Welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. Enjoy the next video.